So Nick, did you see that first case study? The one, I think it was about the political leader? Yeah, I saw him. And what did, what did you think about those those key points, I suppose, that were listed? Oh, so obviously, like, he's the political leader. Like, he's quite strong in his hierarchy and his management of resources. Um, but I also thought he had really strong human resource development. The needs of his staff were being addressed too really strongly in his mm. And so how did you come to your, you know, uh, I suppose, how did you decide which bullet point fits into which area? I, I guess I kind of looked at Bowman and Deal's, like, evaluations like what happened like scarcity uh, management of scarce resources or um, needs or training or empowerment and I kind of matched the words almost to yeah. those ones. I did something similar so I referred back to that table that was in that first chapter ah, yeah. of the ebook and so what I did is I went through each of the bullet points and decided okay what what area does it fit into first and then is there another area and so then oh, I and then yeah. I calculated them all at the end so I plotted them so if there were four HR points, I gave it a four. Oh, and if there were six okay. political, I gave it a six. So. Oh, see, that's kind of used more preform, I guess. Yeah. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> no. So maybe I'm more structural. <laughs> maybe. <laughs> okay. Um, so mine kind of ended up looking like this, which I had quite a large human resource and quite a large political one. But yeah, I'm quite happy with how it turned out, actually. I thought I did all right. Uh, and mine I ended up with obviously political being the highest and my second one was structural because I think they sort of go hand in hand um, with political um, trying to sort of keep everybody happy but also you sort of have to follow sometimes a lot of the rules and procedures in structural so um, yeah that's how I came to my diagram.